Uh, Balanhasi captain Kevin Cullinan keeping up the pro tradition of the Cullinan family involvement in Balanhasi. Kevin, how do you see Sunday's final going? Uh, I think it'll be a very tough match. After last year's final, we probably had an easy run against them in the last year's final, which was totally unexpected. But um, I think this time around they'll be certainly be a lot more fired up for it. Hopefully our lads will as well. It'll be a good game on Sunday. Right. You got over uh, Carrigaline in the first round. Was that a tough game? It was. We prepared well for it. We expected it to be a tough game, very tight. Carrigaline one of the better teams in the South East. And, um, on the night maybe we had it a little bit easier than people uh, would have expected, but it was a tough game, it was a good first round game for us, we set us off well. Right, and then you met Billy Gavin in the semi-final? Yeah, uh, the local, the local, local derby, local, local derby yeah. What did that go? Again, we struggled very badly in the first 20-25 minutes of that match, and uh, we got two very, very good goals before, just before half-time to settle us down. And the same thing happened just two minutes into the second half, we got two goals again. And really that effectively killed off the game, but again we prepared well for it, we were expecting a tough game again. and. You know, it's been a tough, tough campaign all year for us, really. But you know, we're, we're hoping for the best on Sunday, really. You know, yeah, and then, oh, yeah. exactly. Uh, any changes in personnel over last year's team? Is much the same panel? It's pretty much the same panel. We have one or two young lads after coming onto the panel. Uh, they'll be maybe touch and go on the team. The team won't be announced probably until the weekend. But um, you know, we have a strong panel off again. There's, there's good competition for places. But um, yeah. it's a young enough team, basically. There's three or four lads that would be under 20, playing off under 21 team. But um, hopefully they'll be making it out the next couple of years, you know? Excellent. Uh, can I remember you had a great game in last year's county final last month, which was disappointing for Valencia last year? Uh, it, it was. We, we, we felt probably, and we felt all year that we, we didn't really perform on the day. Um, you know, we, we started probably reasonably well, but we kind of fell asunder when, when there, were two, there was two lads sent off from each side, and we fell asunder really after that kind of that happened, you know. But um, we're probably aiming to get back to we're not we're not taking courses for granted. Sunday would be a tough game, but uh, we'd like to get back to that stage again, maybe prove a point, you know. But hopefully we'll have to we'll have to get over Sunday first, you know. So get over Sunday first and back on the county trail again. Good luck to Belfast uh, on Sunday. Thanks very Thank much. You. Thank you. And that's always fine. And again, uh, are you looking forward to Sunday's game? Oh yeah, like every year, um, a final is a final. Again, this course is this year, so I think like last year we kind of beat him easy enough, but I think this year it's going to be a different story. It's definitely going to be a tougher game. Right, you see courses here in the semi-final against Shamrock. Uh, we'll impress with them second half maybe. Uh, even after say quarter an hour, they got going. Um, once they settled, they have a very young team. I suppose the occasion might have got to them at the start. But like once they settled, they seemed to be a well-oiled machine. They were every knew where everyone was, and they were playing a very sensible type of hurling, you know. Yeah, that's right, true. Uh, what was your toughest game around up to this this year's final? I think our toughest game definitely was the Carrigaline game. Carrigaline had done a lot of preparation for the game this year, and um, when you go out there, we'll get a tough game for them. And up to say seven or eight minutes to go, they were there, thereabouts. With us all the way, there was only two or three scores between us all the time, and. Um, I'd say, as the look goes on the day, we got a goal, and that was the difference on the day after all. Yeah, I think it's much different now from last year. Last year, the great from the county, and maybe he didn't perform on the day, but uh, I think going a little bit better this year, is it? Just to say. Ah, uh, it's the preparations. Um, it's slightly different. We have more stuff and overs this year. Every man has a different way of preparing. But um, on the day, on, on Sunday, we'll be prepared for a final. A final is a great occasion, and uh, I think every club would love to be, every Sally's club would love to be in a final every year. And I think we've been lucky enough to be in the last, I think, five of the last six, so. Yeah, it's, it's nice, yeah, it's nice, but like uh, the one we want to win really is the county, but you have to win the South East to win the county. That's right, yeah. Uh, getting back to last year's final, uh, people didn't perform on the day. What do you think went wrong? I think that um, there was a lot of hype before the game, and I think a lot of, including myself, a lot of our guys um, probably didn't realise what was at stake, and uh, the sending off didn't have a little bit of a bearing on it. Like, you know, we hadn't kind of geared for that, and it hadn't happened to us really all year. You know, and Dawn has a big influence on every game for us up to that, you know. So, um, but I suppose, like, maybe we might have froze on the day, but hopefully we've learned our lesson now for the show. Right. So, Bell has to win Sunday. Hopefully. Right. And make amends for uh, back in the county again. Make amends well, uh, I put it this way. <laughs> we hopefully will go all the way this show. Very good. Thanks, man. Former Bell has a great hauler and sometimes golfer, uh, Brendan Collin. Brendan. Are you looking forward to some some days again? Uh, very uh, immensely because um, every final especially, and um, I, I well I suppose we're always a bit biased. We always think that there's great holding in 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 well, in Bernasig and especially in South East as well, and. Um, Fine is a fine, and and, and um, there's a great occasion to us. Oh, absolutely. Of course, know? he's at the opposition again this year.
We have forced this year because um, we gave him a bit of a drubbing last year. I think we cut him on the wheels and uh, we're waiting for the backlash. And we hope that we, well, we think our fellas, they have prepared nicely and uh, we're looking forward to a hard and, and tough game. Very good. Any injury worries not going to send this game? Uh, no, not really, no. They're all, um, all fit and, all fit and ready, ready to go. Ready to go. You know? trainer this year, Mark Duggan, has he meant to you? Well, he has. He's brought in fresh ideas and you know he gets on well with the, with the boys and, he, you know, as, um, right. he, he's... Um, a good motivator for the lads, yeah. like, you know. Right. What do you think of the standard this year, you know, compared to last year? You know, the games you've had, the, I mean, tougher games or easier games? Or well, we had a very tough game in the first round, which was, well, we were looking forward to it. Well, when the draws were made, yes. I was delighted because it was the first team in Carrie Line. Yes. And uh, we played we played well against a good Carrie Line team. Right. And, um, well, the second semi-final wasn't, wasn't a great game. Right. You know, it was our, our um, local derby. Local derby. And right. it turned out to be a bit of a fast, really. But, um, right, yeah. That was no fault, like so. Yeah, of course, you had, had an easy passage, especially in the second half against Shamrock. Did you see that, that game? I saw it, and, and unfortunately, Shamrock's on, are on the way down with a few years. You know, they right. seem to have no new talent coming up, like, you know. Yes. And, um, of course, he's had it, had it very easy. That's right, you know. Yeah. And yes. um, just because it wasn't, wasn't Balmastic, I wouldn't run, you know, I wouldn't um, take too much into it, like. Right. You know? So Sunday's going to be a close game. Ben Hassig, too, I suppose. Well, I mean, Ben Hassig, man, and that's enough. I don't want to see Corsi even either. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So Ben Hassig back on the county trail uh, this year again, and hopefully success. Well, we'll try to get over Sunday, no first, and then uh, I, I, I'd love to be there in the last two distant future. Really well. Thank you. Get, get back from the last year with uh, the crowd at the clock room and now we're eagerly waiting for it. Right. Last year's final was a bit disappointing, I suppose, the result especially for course is yeah. disappointing, was it? Very disappointing. We don't know we don't know what happened to that. Right. Now we kind of couldn't blame ourselves, we couldn't blame no one, we just flapped in the day and exactly. whatever happened. Yes. Couldn't so put a finger on it. As you say, have another bite of the cherry. Uh, getting onto this year's campaign now, we got a tough enough game for Valley Rovers in the first round, did you? Yeah, very tough. They go plenty hard hurling in it. Yeah. And they showed us the stick, but um, we got over it, thanks to God. Yes. And, uh, that was the important thing, eh, to get over it and get through a, a tough game like that against the second team. It is always not easy. Then in the semi-final against Benny Gavin, uh, he didn't perform very well in the first quarter, but after that you got going. Yeah, in the first 20 minutes, we were very slack. We took uh, about 20 minutes before we got a first score. Right. And they were about four Got a pint and we got a goal in and kind of yeah. took off from there. Yes, yeah, scores came quickly after that. He got a bag, bag of scores after that. Bag of scores. Yeah. Some good scores. Yeah, there were very good scores. Shamrock's kind of fell apart you know, in the second half there That's and right, yeah. That's scores right, kind of came easy then. That's right. How do you think Sunday's game will go now? As you say, you've got to get out back to uh, back Bell and Hassig. How do you think it'll go? Um, well, I think it'll be um, 
pretty close, I think. Right. That um, we'll have to play very tenacious on them yes. and uh, keep it in all of because um, you know if we let them go ahead at all, it's a bit, you know to be like a skin shamrocks. Right. But uh, I think um, we should beat them. Yeah. So John's prediction for Sunday is a win for Corsi Rovers and uh, the rest of your concern, John. And thanks very much. Thanks very much. Dennis, I suppose uh, one of the old timers with Corsi Rovers. Uh, the oldest. Joe Green, the oldest. The oldest now. Right. You've seen a lot of Corsi games, so how are they fight up? Are they fight up for Sunday? Uh, I think they are. I think um, last year was an absolute disaster, and right. nobody knows that better than we do. Yes, true. And uh, we're going to fight tooth nail this time. Yes. Have, has the approach been different this year? Uh, any changes or are there any new players in? Oh, of course. I mean, it's a whole. All, all my compatriots, the over 30 brigade, have gone. <laughs> Brilliant. I think any time I come on the field, the age doubles immediately, Brilliant. the average age. Um, we have good young lads, and the beauty of it is they're used to winning. Right. Um, up, up along, from under 12, all the way up to true minor. They expect to win, and that's, that's a great attitude, and rubs off on the rest of us. Exactly, yeah. And what was the toughest game you had this year? I suppose the, <laughs> the toughest game was trying to, trying to put Valley Rovers away. <laughs> uh, for nice. the first half, it was an absolute disaster, a nightmare, right. but I mean, we won. And uh, sometimes it's, it's not a bad idea just to be yeah, scrolling and getting exactly. there. At least we're there. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then uh, to Belly Hessig and Belly, uh, Belly, what was it? Shamrocks wasn't it? Shamrocks was really a really tough enough game for a while. Yeah, for 20 minutes it looked like yeah. Adrian Driscoll yes. was going to take us to pieces. But um, still, I mean, th there was no panic. The backs did well. They were under yes. pressure and they did well. Right. And uh, we have some fit lads around the field. Absolutely. And, uh, when the time came, we could get our scores, which is which is good. Yeah, that was the important thing. You did get a lot of absolutely. Scores. I mean, conference is, is half the battle. That's right. I yeah. mean, it's 15 against 15, and if you're in the right frame of mind, which hopefully we are, right. uh, I think we'll give them one hell of a game. Exactly. So it's on to Carrig Lions in the evening. What would your prediction be, no, Dennis? Uh, we'll win it. I wouldn't be training at my age if I didn't think I would. <laughs> so uh, a confident uh, Dennis Collins here in Bellis Little, and hopefully the, r the right result for Corsi Rovers. Oh, absolutely. Sunday. Thanks, Dennis. Right, Pete, uh, Corsi Rover selector, and as I said before, to someone sometimes golfer as well. Uh, how are things? We had a very small panel, right. but, uh, but the things are moving on now. You know, it does get more confident, I think, anyway. Right. You got a young team, I suppose. Pete. Very young team, yes. The team of last year's Champions team gone this year. Team run, yes. Yeah, that's a big turnaround, isn't it's it? It's a big turnaround, yes. And it's, it's only a bus, it's only a fact that we had a good youth policy going, that we had so many replacements that we could replace right. the team, really. Yeah. And know. how are the young lads coming along now? Uh, they're, they're doing reasonably well enough. Mm. Uh, you know, probably maybe a bit of experience they'd be lacking you know, for Sunday, maybe, but hopefully they can yes. get over that. Uh. Right. As I was going to say, I suppose it's going to be a big occasion for them Sunday, and, yes. and will they be able to uh, pull through? Well, it's certainly going to be a big occasion for them, yes. Uh, that will probably mean an awful lot anyway. And uh, I know no, we asked them last year after the bad defeat in the, in the, in the final last year in Dunder 21, we asked them for a big effort in, uh, and they came out tops in, in that game last year and I, well, I got great hope from that. But as you say, even very successful on the three one and minor teams. That's so right, yes. There are a good few players coming in. Well, yes, so that's Dennis said, they're used to winning. That's an important thing. And, uh, you know, they've confidence in their own ability, I think, anyway. That's right. What went wrong in last year's final? Well, that's well, the greatest mystery and I've ever seen. I was, <laughs> right. I was actually ashamed coming out the field last year to be a horsey man, you know, really. And, uh, well, it was one of the things, I suppose, these things happen. It was fun, uh, yeah, it was extraordinary, yeah. really. But as John said, they are very anxious to get back to have another bite of Bell Hassan, so they're too far. The, well, they certainly are, yes, they certainly are. Right. They certainly are um, but as I say, Bell Hassan will have an awful experience, which we won't have, you see. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yes. How is feeling around generally? Are people confident? Or well, to tell you the truth, there's uh, very little talk at all right on around the place. You know, the uh, not in all parliament to start, but uh, people yes. seem to be shot from last year. Yes, that's right. That might be a very good sign. Usually when there's no talk, uh, uh, maybe so, people yeah. open talk. Would you think so? It could happen, yes. Uh, hopefully, I'm thinking, hopefully, I'm thinking yeah. that's low key at the moment, and maybe there might right. be a little less pressure. Yes, that's right, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. What would your prediction be for Sunday, I suppose, of course, you mean? Uh, I would think, yes. Right. I think so, yes. Right. So, yeah. uh, Pete here, very confident of victory on Sunday, and we wish the best of course on Sunday, and hopefully Sunday evening. Might
was captain. Both captains shake hands there before the start of the 1996 Saudis final here in Carrigaline. It's Bell Hasig versus Corsi Rovers. Uh, Oliver Webb there, one of the linesmen, and Pat O'Neill. The, the other linesmen go in for the photograph with the umpires. Pleasant little photograph here in the middle of the field. Howard Crowdy there takes the shot. Everything in readiness. The pitch has really turned out very well thanks to the groundsman, Dave Drynan and Willie Welsh for the way the, the ground has turned out here today. Corsi Rovers team, their line up. And in goal is John Roach, full back. Our line is Paddy Cochran, John Ardenau, full back. And Dennis Hurley in the other corner. The half back line, Brian Hayes. Centre back is Brian Downing. And on the other wing is Jamie uh, Seamus Hayes. Centre field is Charlie White and Liam Toomey. The half forward line is Anto Hagerty, Seamus Toomey, and Jamie Hayes. And the full forward line, Christy Cochran, full forward is Connie Regan. And in the other corner is Brian Hayes. Ballon Hassig team coming into view there, led by their captain, who is Kevin Cullinan. And in goal, deputising for Dear McCallman is Jer Finn. Corner back, Jerry Holland. Full back, Kevin Cullinan. Hassig team who've won la four of the last five Saudis finals. Corsi Rovers have made many changes from last year and are hoping that they will put up a better performance today. They have a very young team. Ten of the panel from last year's match have gone and, as I've said, they're hoping to put up a better show and they're quietly confident. Nevertheless, Ballon Hassig have great experience over the last number of years with the number 14 there, Cox Senior Star and Sean McCarthy and his brother Dennis behind him. They have lots of experience on their side, and Corsis will find it very tough here today. Carrigaline Pipe Band looking resplendent there in their uniforms, just returned from the World Championships in Glasgow. Lead the parade here in Carrigaline. The attendance, not very big here on this blustery day, but nevertheless a nice attendance. Many people over there on the far side. As I said, the weather is rather blustery and a little cool, but we are hopeful that the rain will stay off for this final. Sponsored by Barry Collins Super Value in Carrigaline. So we listen to the music there of Carrigaline Pipe Band as they lead the teams led by their captains Kevin Cullinan for Ballon Hassig and John O'Donnell for Corsi Rovers. Teams break up there, the band comes round. Our referee for today's game is Gerald Harrington, who has made a name for himself on the inter county scene. Ballon Hassig breaking up from their huddle last. Minute words of encouragement there from their captain Kevin Cullinan. Ballon Hassig, who reached the county junior final last year, were a little disappointed in their performance against Killian. They're hoping to get on the county trail today if they can get over Corsi Rovers, but they know they won't have it easy. The roll of the drums and our on the
Oh, on the field and Gerard Hyde really has to throw in the ball, a little bit of jostling there in the middle of the field. Gerard has a little quiet word with him and looking at his watch and very soon the 1996 Saudis final will be underway. Here we go. Of course he's forced to break away, ball tapped over there, Jamie Hayes has it. Can make his way forwards, he's fouled. And the first free, they're right there in the middle of the field to Corsi Rovers and will be taken by the man who was fouled, Jamie Hayes. The referee blows his whistle. Jamie strikes it high. And a cheer from the Corsi Rovers fans as it goes straight over the bar. The first score to Corsi Rovers, a point there from the stick of Jamie Hayes. Playing in the forward line, marking Con Collin. Back to the keeper and Jurf in with the puck out. Jurf sends it out the far side. High ball landing out there, John Melanie is in there and Liam Toomey. John Melanie coming out, it sends it in low, looking for Shawnee McCarthy, full forward, John O'Dell win there. But it's the corner back there, number four, Dennis Hurley who comes away with the ball and strikes it left-handed on the far side of the field. Up they go for it there, up there it's Jamie Hayes again, sending it down low. But only as far as Kevin Cullinan, Kevin is blocked down there and it's out there to Dan Healy. Dan making his way out the far wing ball and as Hurley, Dan making and kicks it forward. There to Con Collin. Con leaves it low up the wing there. Out coming Michael Higgins. Ball added to up for Ben Hassig. Paul Lumbert going for it. Doesn't get it because it's in the back for course. It's Brian Downing who clears. Right up there in the middle of the field. Damien McCarthy goes up. Damien. Ball drops to the ground and Damien sends it. Out the far side. Michael Higgins coming out there. Ball bubbles. John Mullaney sends it high. Number 12 there for Ballon has to give us John O'Sullivan. John doesn't get it. Brian Downing sends it high. Going a little to the right. The ball has gone wide there. Just coming up to two minutes of play gone in the first half. Two attacks from Corsi Rovers. One point and one wide ball there from John to Brian Downing as Jeff Finn comes with the puck out. Donald Lombard. Over on the far side of the field there, and for Ballon Hassig, it's Michael Higgins. John O'Donoghue comes out, left-handed, he clears it right up the middle, going towards this side of the field. Corsi Rovers still in there as Dan Healy comes in and flicked away there by the cornerback, Martin Cusson. But it's Santo Hegarty there, and balls fall to the ground, and Don Lumber clears. There's a foul there on John Mullaney. And it's a free out for Ballon Hasek to be taken by Damien McCarthy. Damien played in the Farmers last year, back at centre back this year. Just outside his own 65, into this strong breeze here, blowing from left to right in the first half. Here's a look at the post. Sends it high. It's over the bar. It's a great score for Ballon Hasek. Score there by Damien McCarthy from centre back. A good A goal look to be on there. A good little pass there from Michael Higgins back to Paul Lombard. But the ball was saved there at the expense of a 65. We have four minutes of play gone in the first half. Damien, 65 metres out this time, a little shorter than the last time. He sent the last one over the bar. Gerard Harrington blows his whistle. Damien strikes. Unerringly over the bar. Ballon has to go into the lead. Ballon has to get in the lead. Two points for Ballon has to get. One point for Corsi Rovers. John Roach. Sending it high out the far side again. John Mullaney out there. Centre forward there, 
Seamus Toomey. Sent down up there towards Aidan Holland, but the ball comes out. Out the wing there. Con Coyle is there for Belenhasig. Up there towards Aidan Holland. A little bit of argy bargy around there. Aidan again pulls. Up the line there, Paul Lumbard. Ball beats Paul. Over the line there on the far side. And it's a line ball on the far side. Far course here overs. And it will be taken for them by Brian Hayes. Brian leaves it to Brian Downing. Brian Downing, about 40 metres out from the goal, strikes it. Low. Along the ground, Colin Carlin beats him, but it's clear for Ballon Hassig. Ball again is over the line. Linesman over there, Oliver Webb. Con Carlin alongside him. Con is going to take this ball as Damien McCarthy and Seamus Toomey look on. Con sends it low. Jimmy A strikes. Up they go for it there. But Damien McCarthy comes away with it and strikes it up this side of the field. John O'Sullivan there underneath it. Dennis McCarthy out with him. John runs on. Picks it up. Brian Downing challenges. John runs in and strikes it off his left. Well, that's a good score for Balnasig. A good score there for John O'Sullivan. Played in the Cork Minor team last year. So after six and a half minutes of play, we have John O'Sullivan with a point for Balnasig. Balnasig in the lead. Three points to one. Puck out from John Roach. Up they go for it. Hurley's go. Ball comes out, but onto it. Of course, he rovers. There's a foul there. And it's a free. About 30 metres out from the goal. Brendan runs on there with a hurley for Damien. Dead straight in front of the goal. Just outside the semicircle. Jamie Hayes trying to get one back for Corsi Rovers. And to Hegarty, number 10, looks on. Jamie strikes it. Straight and through. Cooling the Corsi Rovers. Seven minutes and a half gone. Jerfin doing well in the goal for Ballon Hassig, poking out the far side of the field. Seamus Toomey in there, but Damien McCarthy running onto it, flicking it ahead of him. Don Lumbard in there, connected by Jamie Hayes. Struck up by Brian Hayes. And a good strike coming in there for Corsi Rovers. And their corner forward. Another Brian Hayes and another point for Corsi Rovers. Tying up the teams at three points each. Puck out again from Jurfin beyond the middle of the field. A good puck against that stiff breeze. Charlie White doesn't get his puck in. Cleared away for Balnasig. Out the far side, Jamie Hayes and Con Collin. Jamie gets there first and moves it down the line. Taken again by Corsi Rovers and a good pass across there. Andrew Hegarty going in. And the Jurfin is out there and number four, the ball has gone in though. The ball has gone into the net. It's a score for Corsi Rovers. A cool, the green flag waves. Ball was deflected off Jurfin's hurley high. And over the bar for Corsi Rovers. 1-3 for Corsi Rovers, 3 points for Belhasig. Almost 9 minutes of play gone. Seamus Toomey knocks it out this side. Damien reads it first, gets there, but tends to go left, goes right, but is blocked down. Ball going towards the line, and clear first time by Damien up there towards John O'Sullivan, Dennis McCarthy in there, backing for a Dennis is in there, sends it low and looking for Shawnee. But in there comes Paul Lumbert, it's straight in front of the goal. John Roach is out. And off his line fairly quickly was John Roach to declare deflect the ball out over the end line for a 65 for Ballon Hassig. Paul Lumbert going in there. Had a chance of a goal, but John Roach was out quick. Pat O'Neill placing the ball there, and I'm sure Tamian will have another cut of this one.
Damien standing in the 65 meter line. Drives it high. Makes no mistake. Straight and true. A good score there for Ballon Hassig. And Damien McCarthy with 10 minutes gone. Four points for Ballon Hassig. One goal and three. For Corsi Rovers, puck out down the middle again. Ball going in towards the goal, going back there is Jerry Holland. Jerry getting to the ball there in the corner. Sends it out towards Khan. Khan calling. A good clearance from Khan calling, putting Ballon Hassig into the attack. But out first is Cor Corsi Rovers. Added up the middle. And still to by Seamus Toomey. Out comes Brian Hayes. Brian collects, looks at the goal and sends it straight over. Only to be going over. Pulled it to the right. And wide. A chance there for Corsi Rovers. Brian Hayes. But pulled to the right of the goal and wide. Turfing. Up they go for it. Don Lumberd in there with John Mullaney. John gets his puck. Shawnee and John O'Donnell contest this one. Paul Lumberd in there. Dennis Hurley, John O'Donnell goes back. But the ball goes over the line. Umpire comes out, raises his hand. So it's a 65. A 65 for Ballon Hassig. John O'Donnell, the Corsi Rovers captain. Corsi Rovers after 12 minutes of play. Quick puck out from John Roach. Into the corner. Out they come for it going towards the line. It's gone over the line. Pat O'Neill raises his flag there. Corsi's dug out there. Andrew Hannon, one of the selectors in the foreground. Sean McCarthy goes back there, number 14. Sean will have a cut of this one. Sean seems to come out for, have come out from full forward. Up the side. But it's... Tussling there for Dennis McCarthy and Dennis Hurley. Clearance for courses. Right there in front of the goal. In there is Jerry Holland. Jerry trying to get it away, but Kevin Cullinan comes to the rescue. Goes off Brian Hayes. Brian flicks it nicely back there to Connie Regan. Connie is a look at the goal. But sends it wide on this side. Chance there to send the ball maybe across the goal. Connie sends it wide here on this side. A minor this year, Connie Regan. A very young Corsi Rover team giving as good as they are getting here today. Corsi's won three. Ballon Hasek five points. Jerfin with a puck out. Bats it down there, Con Carlin. Strong challenge there from Jamie Hayes. Jamie gets his puck. Oh, that's a glorious point for Corsi Rovers and Jamie Hayes. One four for Corsi Rovers. Five points for Bell Hassig. Puck out. But Gerard Harrington there is consulting. Gerard consulting with Oliver Webb in the far side who was seeing something in there in front of the goal and Gerard goes in to have a word with somebody. Donald Lombard has recently gone in full forward and Gerard wants to write the name of somebody in the book. Calling Donald Lombard out to him. Donald explaining what happened or what didn't happen but Gerard is... Going to write the name of Donald in his referee's book. 
Dunn, who started centre field, has now swapped with Sean McCarthy. Sean is out midfield and Dunn is full forward. Play will resume. Halfway through the first half, but a puck out. Out comes the ball there. Sean McCarthy in the middle of the field. Sean is fouled. Free for Bell and Hassig. And Damien, once again, inside his own 65, will come to take it. Damien inside his 65. Seamus to me alongside. Damien drives this one long, going into the right of the goal, up they go for it there. Brendan Lombard is in there, he kicks it. And it's over the bar. A good score there for Belnasig. From the boot this time of Don Lombard. Six points for Belnasig. 1-4 for Corsi Rovers, just keeping their nose in front. Playing with a stiff breeze. Puck out from John Roach. John Maleni bats it down. Jamie Hayes. The wing, low, out they come for it. Brian Hayes in the corner there, battling, flicks it back. Ball in there towards the goal, Jamie Hayes, out it comes, but Kevin Collan in there. Hand passes it out of the corner. Jamie in there will clear it. Jamie Hayes and Con Collan, Con clears his clearance down the far side, going towards the line there, Michael Higgins. A free for Corsi Rovers. Gerald Harrington brings it up there. Somebody must have said something to him there on the far side. Jamie probably will come out to have a cut of this one. Just outside the 65. With 17 minutes of play gone. Jamie Hayes. The Corsi Rovers. Strikes it high. Dropping shot, whipped out there for Bell Hassig. Con Con. Con sends it up the far side. Michael Higgins comes out. Dennis Hurley with him. But there's a foul there. And it's a free for Bell Hassig. Oliver Webb showing the position. Damien McCarthy this time. Out towards the line, the far side of the field. Damien to take it. Strikes it. Brendan Lombard underneath it. John, I don't know who with him. Ball coming out. John O'Sullivan. Ball cleared out towards this side of the field, going towards the line, but it's going to stay in play. Sean Eagles back. Lifts it. Has a look at the goal. Strikes it. Cross the goal. John in there. John tries to bring it out. He's fouled. Held up there. And Jared Harrington. Points out. It's a puck there, the Corsi Rovers. Right in front of the goal. Dennis Hurley strikes it. Long puck. Damien is in there. Corsi Rovers have it there though. And it's over the bar from Brian Hayes playing at wing back. Another point for Corsi Rovers making it one goal and five points for Corsi Rovers. And six points for Ballon Hassig. With 19 minutes of play gone. Jerfin. Up they go for it. Aidan Holland knocked away from him. Up this side of the field going towards the line where we kept in play, yes. Sent on there towards Anto Hegarty, sent across the goal. Kevin Collan in there with number 15, hand passes it across. Chance for Corsi Rovers and Seamus Toomey. Seamus falls, turns onto his left side and strikes it high. Yes, over the bar. Colleen Glote, the Corsi Rovers. From the left there, 
Seamus Toomey over the bar. Almost 20 minutes of play gone. And Corsi Rovers 1 6. Baron Hasik 6 points. One goal between the teams. Ball comes out the up, goes Aiden Holland. Aiden catches it. Makes his way towards the Corsi Rovers goal and he's fouled. And chance there for Baron Hasig. Will they call up Damien to take this one? Yes. Damien coming up. Strong breeze blowing. Damien strikes it. This time it goes to the left. Gun wide. The score remains 1 6. For Ballon, Corsi Rovers, six points of Ballon Hassig. John Roach quick with that puck out. Out in the middle of the field, Damien is there, battling away. Jamie Hayes turns to his left, hand passes it in there. Connie Regan is out for it. Connie gets his puck, Kushtak. Front of the goal there. Dan Healy, knocked away from Dan. Corsi Rovers sitting right in towards the goal. Dangerous ball there, but Jerfin is equal to the task and clears out the far side. Towards Con Collin there. Knocked over the line by Corsi Rovers. And it will be a sideline cut to Ballon Hassig and Con Collin. John Milani running over there in front. Con gets it. Corsi's collect. And it's a free for a little bit of holding. A free to Corsi Rovers. Inside their own 65. Just inside their own 65. Out there on the far side, of course, your player needing attention. As Brian Downing wants to take this. Free. Brian strikes it. Oh, Colleen Glote, the Corsis. What a beautiful score from the stick of Brian Downing to make it Corsi Rovers 1 7, Ballon Hasig 6 points. We are 22 minutes of play. 22 minutes of play gone in the first half. Brian Downing in there. John Maloney for Ballon Hasig. John sends it up the far side. Brian Downing there, though. Brian sitting in towards the goal, going to the left this time and gone wide. Just after getting a good score, that one just hops wide on the left. Two evenly matched teams in this f first half. Of course, you're always keeping their noses in front. One seven to six points. Jerfin. Out the far side, John Maloney. With Connie Regan. Connie gets up with the ball. Makes his way in there, hand passes it in the wing. That was a good strike, but again, as in the last attack, the ball has gone wide from the midfielder, Charlie White. Puck out for Ballon Hasig. Well taken by Seamus Toomey. In towards the goal this time, then another wide. Gone to the right this time and wide. The referee, Gerald Harrington. Blows his whistle. Jerfin pucks it out. Donald Lombard. Sean McCarthy. Sean has left this one on the ground. Out they come for it. Ball whipped away by Corsi Rovers. Out in the middle of the field to Anto Hagerty. Right into the full forward. Jerry Holland. Kevin Cullinan. Kevin bursts out. Clears down the far side. But only as far as. Charlie White. Out comes Damien. Takes it in front of him, but it's Charlie White who hand passes it forward. Kevin Cullan is there. And Kevin clears it. Dennis McCarthy out in the wing. Michael Higgins got into the corner. Dennis is no hurley. A little bit of argy bargy there. More than a little bit. Tempers getting frayed. 
And referee Gerard Harrington steps in there to sort things out. Number eight is on the ground there for Ballinhasic Don Lumbered. But all is well. Ballinhasic trainer Morris Duggan comes in there to have a look and give a drink to Don. At 25 minutes, we have five minutes to go to half time. Little swig of the bottle all round. John Maleni gets one there. General Harrington standing over there. John O'Sullivan, Malhassi coming off there on the left. Neely Collins and the ball is thrown in. Sent out there, Brian Hayes, clear for courses. Connie Regan out there with Johnny Holland. Con Collin there going in to help. Little high pulling there again. Johnny Holland doesn't like that. And referee General Harrington comes in there to have a word. Another player got in the book, what is? A good game of holding here in Carrigal Line for the 1996 South East Final. Corsi Rovers and their traditional red and white versus the blues of Ballon Hassig and Jamie Hayes out there on the 45. To have a cut of this one, it's out on the line. Jamie gets it in. Cleared out by Ballon Hassig though. Con Collin. Con makes his way out. Speed from Con there and he kicks it up the far side going towards the line. Dennis McCarthy is in there. Donald Lumber is helping him out. Donald gets it but it's too late. Donald is a little annoyed but the ball has gone over the line. It's a sideline on the 45 there for Corsi Rovers. And their wing back Brian Hayes just outside the 45 will take this one. 27 minutes of play got in the first half. 1-7 for Corsi Rovers, 6 points for Valenhasic. A little hold up there. Brian Hayes. There's an injury down here in the corner. It's Jerry Holland who needs attention. Morris Duggan there encouraging his captain. Kevin Cullen. His grandfather played in the 1936 county final and Kevin is here today maintaining their proud tradition and captain of Balnhasig. Another swig of that magic bottle. Seems to work wonders and they all part company. And we'll resume with the sideline cut and Brian Hayes just outside the course, 45. Sends it out the wing there. Course he's to it. But it's Kevin Cullen to clear the danger for Ballon Hassig. Aiden Holland comes out. Aiden doesn't get it. Send it back. Brian Downing clears. Up goes the hand of Kevin Cullen. Ball drops to the ground. Corner back, Martin Cousin clears. Ball is in there, bobbling around. And there's a free out there as Dan Healy came out the far side. He was fouled. And it's a free out for Ballon Hassig and Damien, Damien McCarthy. Inside is on 65. Hoping to drop this one in around the goal. Yes, Gory puts up his hand, John Roach, makes his way out the left, going towards the sideline. Ball has gone wide.
foul there. And it will be a free to Van Hassig. It'll be to the left with the goal. Treatment needed again. Neely Collins is running in there with the magic battle, but the magic battle is not needed this time. Neely turns and runs back to his perch here on the line. And Jamie Hayes will take it as we go into stoppage time in the first half. Jamie over the bar again. Another point for Corsi Rovers. 1 8 for Corsi Rovers, 6 points for Ben Hassig. Don't forget that Corsi's are playing with this strong wind in the first half. Out here, Dan Healy and Anto Hegarty weighing the puck out. Puck out taken. Down the far side there. John Mullaney tries to get it, doesn't get it. Con Collins back. Ball moved around the ground. Jerry Holland clears it down the far side of the field, going towards the line. And it's deflected. And it's sent over the line. And Dennis Hurley will take this sideline cut. Sideline on the far side there to Corsi Rovers. We're almost a minute and a half into injury time. There is no more play. Referee calls for the ball. It's half time here in Carrigaline. Corsi Rovers 1-8. Ballon has six, six points. Rator Gerard Harrington out there in the middle of the field going to get the second half on the way. This time, Ballon has to get the advantage of this stiff breeze here blowing from left to right. Game is on. Shawnee McCarthy sending Ballon Hasig into the attack. His brother Dennis moves it on. Paul Lombardi in the corner comes out. Ball breaking away from Paul, getting on to his left. Hand passing it back to John Mullaney. Johnson's at high. Yes, it's over the bar. In the very first minute of play, just over 30 seconds gone. Ballon Hasig, wind assisted. Seven points. Paul Lombard working very hard to retain possession and giving it back there to John Mullaney and John shot high and over the bar. Good opening for Bellin Hassig. John Roach not as anxious to take quick puck outs as he was in the first half. Sends it up. They go for there. Charlie White and John Mullaney. Ball knocked Brian Downing. Out for Corsi's. Puts it on a stick, he's blocked down there though. Send down up by Brian Hayes, but goes over the line on the far side. John Mullaney think he about it, but he'll leave it to Shawnee, Shawnee McCarthy. Pat O'Neill takes it outside the 45. Shawnee, left-handed. Sends it high, a great cut from Sean McCarthy. Right into the goal. Flicked on and wide. Great cut there from Shawnee. Just to the left of the goal and flicked wide. John Roach. Two Hurleys in the goal. Standing back. Taking his time. John sends it out. Added to there. Seamus Toomey. Sean McCarthy in there. Jerry Holland in there. Ball is in there somewhere. Out comes John Mullaney. And it's a free. Pucks there. To Fanahan the Corsica. And their free taker, Jamie Hayes. Crowd over there on the far side. I'm sure delighted that the rain has stayed off. Jamie asking the referee to send one of the Ballon Hasig players back. He's about 50 minutes out from the goal. Into the strong breeze. Jamie sends it high, but it goes wide in the left. Finn, wind assisted, will take the puck out for Ballon Hasig. Score remains 1 8 to 7 points. Ballon Hasig narrowing the lead. Paul Umbert, left. Cross, not across the goal. Maybe he should have sent it across the goal, but it's into the side netting. And wide. Wide air for Ben Hessig. From Paul Lumbert. Paul, another minor this year. A number of minors on the field. Is this a good sign of underage hurling and Carrick down? 
John Roach. High one. Out the far side. Up they go for it. Dan Healy. Coming away with it does. John Mullaney. Strikes it. Landing there in front of the goal. John Roach puts up his hand. Ball goes over the line. John gets challenged for that ball and falls to the ground right there in the square. Referee Gerard Harrington will have a word with one of the Ballinhasig players. It's Paul Lumber for that challenge on the goalkeeper. We score now with this 1 8 for Corsi and 7 points for Ballinhasig. Some concern there in the Corsi camp for their goalkeeper, John Roach, who has played steadily today for them. All sorts of assistance being called in there. Referee Gerald Harrington in there just having a look to make sure that he was fit and able to continue. He gets up. Looking in the worst for wear but will be fit to resume his place. Fit to resume his place, toes down a hurley. Gets his other hurley. Still a little groggy there in the goal. Now comes out. Ball placing it there at the edge of the square. Taking a little care. Referee blows his whistle. Trying to find a spot. Spent a little time trying to find a spot there and Referee Gerard Height and not satisfied that he was taking the puck out quickly enough. It's a slap ball. A slap ball for Ben Hassig. A slap ball there. Right in front of the goal. Donald Lumber in there. A slap coming in there from Pat Higgins and it's in the back of the net. Oh, what a score there for Ben Hassig. From Michael Higgins, son of Pat. First time that they are to the, into the corner. That is a serious indiscretion there by John Roach in the goal. Maybe showing a little lack of experience. Didn't take that puck out to the satisfaction that free to the satisfaction of Jared Harrington. He blew for a slap ball in the 21. And a goal is the result with Balnasic back in this game in a big way. 1-8 to 7 points. 1-8 to 1-8. Sorry, 1-8 to 1-7. One, 1 point in it with six and a half minutes gone that was a hammer blow for Corsi Rovers conceding a goal like that Ballon has taken their experience in the wind and Brian Downing putting Corsi into the attack landing right in there in front of the goal ball deflected wide it's wide of the Ballon has a goal and Jerfin has a ball and Sure, I'm sure will not delay taking this puck out. Out he comes and strikes it. Up goes Brian Downing, bats it down. Added to for Corsi Rovers. Oh, players clash there with Damian McCarthy. Coming for this one and striking it. Shawnee McCarthy sending it left in towards the goal. But gone to the left and gone wide. Gone wide there on the left. Ballon has to take a point in her ears. Seven and a half minutes of play gone. Puck out. Down the far side. Damien going back. Picks it up. Evades his man nicely and left-handed. Strikes it out there. Dennis McCarthy and Dennis Hurley, the two Dennises, but it's Sean McCarthy who heads in, has a look at the goal and strikes it high. But wide, wide on the right-hand side of the post this time. Umpire John Donovan waves wide. John Roach. I'm sure he's learned a very expensive lesson. And this won't happen again. 
But there's a sub coming in, and it's number 17 there for Ben Hassig. It's Michael Lombard in the program. That's not Michael Lombard, it's James Ahern. James Ahern in the game for Ben Hassig. We'll follow the play. See who's gone off in a moment. Out it comes. Charlie White up there. John Mullaney in there. A free though as Bell has again position. Of course he rovers and it's a free out. Foxair. Fun in the Korshika. And to be taken by their centre back Seamus Downing. Seamus. Into the corner, well collected in there by Martin Cousin. Martin coming out out the far side, his pocket's blocked down, Martin is still in there. Tussling for it. And the ball has gone wide. Referee wants the puck out to be taken. And out it comes Seamus Toomey out there. James Ahern, Sean McCarthy. And it's a foul. A foul on Sean McCarthy. Number nine walking away there was Liam Toomey. And young John O'Sullivan comes out here to this side of the field to take it. This one is over the bar. Over the bar. Ballon Hassig are in level are on level terms. 1-8 for Ballon Hassig. 1-8 for Corsi Rovers. After 10 minutes of play in the second half. This game is a draw. Here's in short Carrigy line. Puck out. Landing out there up they go for it. Right here in front of us. Dennis McCarthy flicking on. But it's the centre forward for Corsi Rovers. Seamus Toomey who gets it in. But only there as far as Dan Healy for Ballon Hassig. Donald Lombard. Ball breaks away from Donald. John I don't know who is fouled as he tries to make his way out and it will be a free out for Corsi Rovers. John I don't know who teak tough defender for Corsi Rovers playing at full back. Now marked by Donald Lombard. And there's an injury here to a Corsi Rovers player. Nothing serious I'm sure. All in there having a look. Everything to play for here. Teams on level terms. Rain stayed off. Sean McCarthy making his way in full forward once again. And the number is coming out. Nice play here by Bell and Hassig. Play will resume. With 12 minutes gone, the 4 near coast score. Ball right in there in front of the goal, batted out. Added to. But it's Jamie Hayes, to Seamus Toomey, to Dennis Hurley. Dennis Hurley is hooked there by Dennis McCarthy. Dennis still making his way in there. Ball drops to the ground and it's cleared out there towards Dennis first time. It's down the side of the field. Paul Lumber coming out with it there with Paddy Carkin. Sean McCarthy flicks it up. And Sean is thrown to the ground. Complaining there. Hurley lost. Here to the right of the goal, John O'Sullivan comes across. Sent the last one over the bar. Pete Donovan down there. John O'Sullivan sending it high. This time it goes to the right. Goes wide. The Teams stay on level terms, 1A to piece. John Roach sending it out. Up they go for it. Dennis Holly. 
Shearing a lot of ball for Corsi Rovers. Down this, into this corner. Back there is Damien. The ball has gone over the line. Sub running on there for Corsi Rovers. Giving his little slip of paper to the Rator. Dennis McCarthy wanting a switch. Right down here in front of us. And there, number nine. Liam cuts it. Where's the ball? It seems to be the question here. If Ballon has to bring it out, Connie Regan tussling in there for it. Doyle Lombard sends it along the ground. Good ground stroke into Paul. Paul comes out. Has it on a stick. Gets it right in there towards the goal. Up they go for it. Sean is batting there with John Idaho. Still in there battling. But there's a foul over there in the corner. John I don't know who is fairly annoyed. But his annoyance counts for nothing. It's the whistle of the Rator. Gerard Harrington. That counts. And on the left of the goal, John O'Sullivan. Missed the last one on the right. I'm sure John would like to make up for that and send this one over the bar. Halfway through the second. Johnson's at high. This time he makes no mistake. Sending Bell Hassig into the lead. 1 9 for Bell Hassig. 1 8 for Corsi Rovers. Corsi Rovers have yet to score in the second half. 15 minutes of play gone and could prove costly. John Roach looking for the ball. Gerard Harrington has a word there on the name of John O'Donoghue. John Roach. Into the breeze. Dennis goes up. Ball here in front. Sean, has it. James O'Hadden runs ahead of him. Sean, turns back, flicks it across. Corsi Rovers. Corsi's need to get on the score sheet. John Roach knows it and pucks it out quickly. Up they go for it. A little pull there previous to the ball ending down. Price Seamus Toomey and Damien McCarthy gets the free. No, it's the other way around. It's the free to Corsi Rovers and Seamus Toomey doesn't pick it up right and Damien accepts and strikes it on the field. Going towards the line, gone to the right this time and wide. John Roach anxious to get play on the wave quickly. Down the far side of the field. Up they go for it. Dan Healy. Ball on the stick. Dan has overcarried and it's relief for Corsi Rovers. Brian Downing kept busy here, playing well at centre back for Corsis. Brian pucks it. They go for there in front of the goal. The ball is cleared out by Bell Hassig. Of course, he's get it back in. Damien McCarthy. Clear down the far side. Stalemate there. Number 12, John O'Sullivan, back in his own half. Back lining clears. Shawnee McCarthy collects inside, making his way towards the goal. Surely this is a goal for Ballon Hassig, yes. In the back of the net. John Adonu cut out there for once, and Shawnee sends it home. Into the net. 2-10 for Ballon Hassig. 
1 8 for Corsi Rovers with 18 and a half minutes of play gone. Quick puck out. Out there in the middle of the field is this game slipping away from Corsi Rovers. Damien strikes it down the far side. Michael Higgins. Oh, yes. Over the bar. Two eleven for Ballin Hassig. One eight for Corsi Rovers. Don Lumber battling there for it, but Corsi's coming away with it. For Corsi's two eleven for Ballin Hassig with nineteen and a half minutes of play gone. Five points in the lead of Balhasig. Jarfin. Not as busy in the second half. John Allen who out. And clears off his left. Up they go for Thorn Lumbert. Towards the goal and hopping wide. Paddy Cocker knocking Paul Lumbert in there. And the ball beats them both and over the line. Ball out the far side, Seamus Hayes. Puck half blocked down and John Sullivan is in there. Puts the ball on his stick but knocked off it and over the line. Over the line there on the far side and it's a linesman's ball. Can't make up his mind. So the ball will be thrown in between. Number 9, John Mullaney and number 14, that's Connie Regan. Seamus Hayes going towards the line. Up it runs, out they come. Martin Cousin, Damien McCarthy goes back. But ends to go right and goes left. James Aherden in there, but was knocked out over the line. Far side of the field. Pat O'Neill shows him the exact spot, John Mulaney. Takes a few inches. Sideline cut to Balnassi. 21 minutes of play gone in the second half. High cut. But out come Corsi Rovers. Well stuck out this side of the field. Seamus Toome. Seamus Puck is blocked down by Damien. Damien is in there again. Brian Hayes. Nicely done. Knocked forward to Seamus Toomey. Seamus making his way there in front of the goal. Oh, it's a foul there. Seamus is taking a seat in there in front of the goal. And it's a free far course here over. A little bit to the left of the goal and this side of the field. Referee Gerard Harrington is on the exact spot. The score is 1-9. Of course, he's 2-11 for course here over. Will we have blasting operations here? He's a look out. Jamie Hayes is a look to the line. What have they told him in the line? They have told him take his point. And he does. Strikes it over the bar. 110 for Corsi Rovers. 211 for Ban Hassig. Four points in it. They're narrowing the lead after those. The last goal there from Sean McCarthy put a bit of daylight between themselves and Corsi's. Horses are back in the game with four points. Four points between them. Knocked on by James Ahern going towards the line. And struck over the line. So it will be a sideline cut. Farbell and Hassig. Dennis McCarthy. Anxious looks there on the Corsi Rovers mentors down in front of us. Dennis will strike this one across. Up they go for it. Brian Downing. Coming out with it. Dan Healy. Dan doesn't get it very far. James Ahern goes up, but the ball is battered away from him. Jamie Hayes back there helping his defence. Jamie gets it and makes tracks. Going over to 65. 
But back there helping again is John O'Sullivan. I mean, a good game for Ballinasic in this the second half. Right in there in the goal, Paddy Cochran coming across with Paul Lombard. The ball is knocked over the line, and it's uh, 65 to Ballinasic with 23, 24 minutes of play almost gone. And it'll knock there to Michael Higgins, which will require attention. Michael scorer of the goal there for Ballinasig. From that indiscretion by Corsi Rovers goalkeeper John Roach. Tilly taking his puck out and was penalised with a slap ball on the 21. The ball broke, and there was Michael Higgins to bang it to the net. Damien McCarthy striking this one. Why this time? John Roach out here this side. Con Collin coming in. Uh, Con into the hands of the goalkeeper. John Roach who clears out the far side of the field. John Maloney puts the ball in his stick, turns back, strikes it over his head. Back there is Seamus Hayes. Seamus has his hands full today, marking John O'Sullivan, Martin Cusson, and Jerry Holland. Brian Hayes. Ball sent out there towards the line, going towards the line. Pull coming in there as the ball is hit over the line. Hassig, Charlie Holland, Charlie down there and needing attention. John O'Sullivan in there, Morris Duggan in there, all having a look. Charlie getting to his feet, and it's a free out. A free out to Pal Hassig, who lead by 211 to 110. Damien out there on the line. Gerard Harrington, the retour, takes it back. Back to the scene of the crime, he said. Just outside your own 45, so back goes Damien. This doesn't worry Damien, a great striker of the ball. Damien strikes it. They go for it, Donald Lombard. In towards the goal, hopping in front of the goal, a little to the right, and wide ball. 27 minutes gone, 2.11 to 110. James Ahaven on a stick, and striking it over the bar. 2.12. 1-10, five-point game. Puck out rather quickly. Jamie Hayes, hand passing it across to Liam Toomey. Seamus Toomey. John Mulaney for Balanasi, though, maps up. Up they go for it. John Odenahu. Paul Lumber in there. But it's the half back there going back. Brian Hayes to clear. Clearing for courses out towards the line. John Mulaney and Brian Downing. Ball is cleared over the line. And it will be another sideline cut to Bell Hassig. Just outside there, 65. Shown the exact spot there by Pat O'Neill. Is Damien. And John Mulaney. John Mulaney. Strikes it up there. Clearance out for Corsi Rovers by Dennis Hurley though. Connie Regan coming out here for it. But Con Carlin is there first. 
hand passes it to Dennis. Dennis McCarthy. Wide this time, wide on the left hand side there. A good attempt there by John, but just drop wide. Playing a good game for Ballinhassie in the second half as Dennis Cummins runs on. The man who has given great service to Corsi Rovers gives his name to the right over. And Dennis is in the game, but we have 29 minutes and 13 seconds gone. Here comes the puck out. Landing in the 65, batted down, cleared out for Corsi Rovers. Down the far side there, Anto Hegarty. Anto Hegarty up goes Damien McCarthy, who else? Coming out the far side, Damien loses his footing, still in there. And Shown the spot, yes it has. Pat O'Neill. Course he's very anxious to get out. We are in injury time. Injury time in the Saudi East. Ball is cleared out for Ben Hessing though. Out the far side there. Seamus Haynes running onto it. Seamus collects the ball and collects the man at the same time. The man is John O'Sullivan. Back in his own half back line there. So it's a free just inside the 45. Far Corsi Rovers and Brian Downing will take it. Brian Downing, Corsi's last chance. We drop it in. Up they go for it. Ball is deflected into the back of the net. Into the net, but we have... One minute and eight, 19 seconds now of injury time played. 2.11 for Ballon Hassig. 2.10. 2.12 for Ballon Hassig. 2.10, two points in it, but surely time is running out. Bat it down by Brian Downing. Michael Higgins loses it. Michael's still in there battling for it though. Still in there they battle for it. Johnny McCarthy. Making room for himself and swings it. Over the bar. A great score there for Johnny. 2.13 for Ballon Hassig. 2.10 for Corsi Rovers. Dennis Hurley anxious to get the ball out here. Sent low out to him. They're looking for a goal. Finding it hard to get his clearance but gets it up there and added to up they go for it there in front of the goal. Dan Healy in there battling for it. One handed course, he sent that on into the corner. Sent in there by Dennis Cummins. Kevin Conlan, captain of Ballon Hassig. Is foul back there in his own in line. Much to the relief of Kevin, it will be a free out. We are two minutes and a half of injury time played. We've had a number of stoppages in the second half. Kevin Conlan strikes it high. But there is no more time left. And Ballon Hastig are the 1996 Southeast champions on the score of 213.
Kevin. I know it's Kevin's turn to say a few little words. To thank his teammates for the effort, to their trainers, selectors and everybody associated with Ballinhasig, who have made them champions of the Southeast for 1996. So with Kevin saying his few words, Slanagan.